So the first card is the fertility card, and this is the Empress. And this is about making a lot of plans, having a lot of expectations, and putting a lot of effort and energy into getting your independence back. And it's also about waiting for cycles, so it's about divine timing at play here. So you are putting a lot of effort and energy into whatever you're doing, and you are waiting uh, for a good outcome. It looks like it will come in there with that Empress card. You've got the memories of love over here, so you might be spending a lot of time reminiscing about the past or thinking about what had happened, uh, you know, trying to dig into your past to find solutions or, you know, to try to find um, out why you had to go through whatever difficulties you, you went through. Now, uh, you've got that uh, discontent and boredom card over here. It looks like there might be an offer that is coming in over there. This is the Four of Cups. But it's also, uh, you know, in this particular deck, it's almost like you're walking away uh, from uh, the past. So you had memories of the past, and it looks like you're finally turned your back on it and you're walking away. Maybe it's been presenting you with some kind of um, emotional barrier. Um, you, you can't get get past it, so you, it seems like you're turning your back on it and you're walking away. And this is how you're going to be able to make progress, by leaving the past behind. You've got the uh, Nine of Cups of Year, so it seems like there's been something that has been fulfilled. Some kind of wish has come true for you there uh, with the Nine of Cups. Uh, this could also be that you may have also been in, overindulging in something. So, you know, maybe overeating, overdrinking, overspending. That could well be the case in the past. You've got the, the Wheel of Fortune. So things uh, are about to change or they have started to change for you. Uh, and in a more positive note with that Wheel of Fortune card coming in there. Now, going into the future, you've got the Seven of uh, Pentacles over there. So this is about patience and planning, making your investments and being wise about what you invest in and putting your energy and efforts into investing in yourself. There's some kind of choice that you have to make as well about your stability. Uh, and you're definitely getting your power back again. So this is the strength card, uh, you know, using all that strength and all that power and all that courage uh, to get things done. So, you know, you, if you're working for yourself now, it's going to require you to have a lot more courage uh, and think about yourself, really. So those are the energies for that week. So I'm going to draw some cards from the Kingdom Within Tarot. So at the bottom of the deck, you've got the King of Wands over here. So this is about you taking back your control, taking back your power. And you can see he's riding this uh, phoenix bird. So it's a fire bird rising from the ashes. So where there seems to have been a lot of destruction around you, it seems like you are overcoming this and finally taking back that power. It's definitely got the wand over there. So, uh, you know, this is like a resurrection uh, from uh, whatever you have um, gone through. So, uh, you know, whatever it is that uh, completely ruined you, uh, you are now starting to rise above it. And you're coming out quite triumphantly as well. Now, you've got the Nine of Wands over here, and it's crossed by the Seven of Swords. So you might still be dealing with a lot of deceptive energies uh, around you. So somebody's lying, or some somebody's still doing things that are very underhand over here. Maybe still stabbing you in the back. So somebody might be saying things about you behind your back, ruining, trying to ruin your reputation as well. Uh, and there's certainly a lot of uh, deceitful behavior going on. You're still dealing with a lot of problems over there. You've got the Nine of Wands over there, but you know, you're overcoming them. And, you know, a celebration is almost there. So you're almost over all these difficulties and just a little longer to go. Uh, and, you know, you will be very successful there. So you went through a loss, uh, you know, with that five of pentacles, financial troubles, uh, Mercury sitting in Taurus, you know, and a lot of financial worries uh, that has gone on in the past. It seems like you lost a lot of money and a lot of possessions as well, and maybe got left out in the cold, uh, isolated from everybody else. So you have come through a lot. 
uh, you've got the debt card. It looks like you've had to cut all of that out of your life and in order for you to move forward. And you can see the spirit rising from the body. So transformation has come in over there. So you are you have risen from that situation. You it seems like you you have let that situation go and you are now moving forward. Uh, you know, moving away from it. Uh, so power is coming back into your hands. You are rising from it. But the only way you were able to do that was to actually cut that out of your life or just, you know, uh, let it die off, really, uh, in order for you to move forward. On your mind, you've got the King of Cups over here. So you might be waiting for some kind of offer to come in. You might even be dealing with a water sign person, which would be a Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces energy over there. But the King of Cups generally talks about healing, and it also talks about, uh, you know, having somebody that is going to be around to give you some kind of support. Maybe you have that energy around you that you can ask for some advice from. There's still a lot of conflict going on around you. You've got Saturn there in Leo, so somebody's still having a go at your confidence, uh, maybe uh, saying snide things. Maybe there are some, uh, you know... Um, there is a lot of conflict, a lot of drama with this particular person, and you're still having a lot of problems with them. Uh, you know, it seems like a bit of a stalemate situation. You are seem to be equally matched. So maybe you're giving as good as you're getting over there, but there still seems to be a lot of fighting and arguments going on with you there. Now, you are focusing on your coin. You've got the Queen of Pentacles over there, and you're focusing on what you want. Uh, so money is coming. You've got a lot of expectations out of whatever you're doing. She's a pregnant woman, and you're working pretty hard at what you're doing as well and waiting for divine guidance as well in this particular situation. Uh, around you, it looks like somebody's coming, you know, you're going to be, um, this is established strength. So whatever you have started, whatever project you started is going to go from strength to strength. It has got strong foundations. There also could be some people coming in to help you. You could be working with a group of people. And this could also be about, um, you know, um, a lot of communication, international communication, and maybe some international travel coming in there with that three of wands. You are waiting with a high priestess and you are using your intuition. So you're waiting for something, for this project to come to fruition. And you're, you know, you've got that cycle of the moon, cycles of the moon over there. This card also says, you know, keep all your plans to yourself. Don't go around telling people whatever is going on in your life. Make sure mum's the word there. Keep everything to yourself. Now going into the future and the final outcome, you've got seven of pentacles, ten of swords, and the five of cups. So the seven of pentacles is about whatever you had invested in didn't pan out the way you wanted to. You still got a lot of financial problems going on with Saturn there in Taurus over here. So, um, you know, it looks like um, there's still that issue about uh, decide what you want to invest in and make sure you're investing in yourself um, and uh, make sure that, um, you know, you're not thinking about anybody else's needs. Take your own needs into consideration. Once you do that, it looks like whatever you invest in uh, you know, we'll have a payoff with that Seven of Pentacles. You've got the Ten of Swords, so whatever that situation is that you dealt with is done, finished. There was a lot of ruin in that particular situation. A lot of backstabbing went out. A lot of betrayal. Nobody was there to support you. A lot of people speaking behind your back over there. Uh, and nobody really caring what happened to you, uh, what became of you at the end of it. Now that is over and done with. So the worst is now over and it is now time to move on. You're still crying. You still need to heal from the situation you're going through heartbreak over there so you're still looking at the past and crying over what had happened there is a new cup being offered behind you there so it's it might be good to turn around and and look for that new cup uh, so there might be some kind of offer there may be even an apology that comes in for you but there is definitely some kind of emotional offer coming in there for you so just be aware uh, try not to get stuck in the uh, you know in the energies of being depressed so I'm just going to draw some cards from the Angel Tarot. So you've got the Eight of Air over here, says uh, the illusion of being trapped, a lack of self-confidence, and afraid to take action. So it looks like you've been uh, shunted from the main group or, you know, you've been almost left out from everybody else's, uh, you know, from the, from the group. Uh, isolated from everybody else uh, and um, you know it's a time for you to move on so whoever they were if they uh, you know um, decided that they didn't want to be associated with you anymore then they were not well they were not worth knowing so it's best for you to leave that particular situation behind because it's only causing a lot more distress and maybe whatever their values are not um, 
they are not your values. So maybe you are not really, um, you know, somebody who can identify with them at the end of the day, and it's best to walk away from that situation. You've got the seven of water over here, so some kind of big decision coming in for you. Uh, you need to do some research and stop procrastinating. So um, make sure that you are being proactive. Uh, look into whatever options are available for you, research it, and then make a decision. Uh, and don't be afraid to make a decision. Um, you know, as they say, take the bull by the, the horns. So you do need to do that. Um, and the final uh, card is the justice card. So fear, um, fair and fast, uh, just decision, sorry. Do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. So there's some kind of legal issue that you are going to be de uh, dealing with, uh, something official, and a decision will be made. Uh, and it'll be a quite a fair decision as well. So there's some kind of choice coming in for you there. Um, on the other side of it, it's about um, you know being balanced when you make decisions as well. So there could be something official uh, that's going to be decided, uh, and or there might be some kind of legal issue that you have to deal with. Um, whatever options you're making as far as choices goes, whatever decision you have to make, make sure you're doing a re your research first before you make that particular decision. Don't be rash. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.